Right, I'm off to start my shift. No sign of Holly out then, I take it. Could do with an extra pair of hands, eh? You're the one that said she could have a lie in. Yeah, well, I thought I ordered, didn't I? Don't suppose you want to help me give Daisy suppositories before you go? No, I think you've got it covered. I'll see you later. Listen, I've been thinking about the um, holiday. Maybe I overreacted. Oh, it's too late now. I've already cancelled it, remember? Unless we book another one. Are you serious? I just feel bad, you know. You were looking forward to it. And didn't exactly handle things well with Holly, did I? I thought you couldn't trust her to be left by herself. Unless we took her with us. What, and leave the other two? What about Hannah and her exams? Well, Adam's old enough to look after her, isn't he? It could be good for her having a bit of peace and quiet. Plus, we can keep an eye on Holly. Oh, I get it. Not so much house arrest as country cottage arrest. I just think it could be good for all of us, you know. Just get away from things for a bit. No, I can't. Diane's going to France with Charlie. I'd be leaving her short-staffed. If you don't ask, you don't get, do you? Have a think about it, eh? See what you can do. Mm. She's waiting. I couldn't have a word with you, could I, in private? Well, that sounds ominous. I was wondering if it was too late to change my mind about taking next week off. I thought you decided against it. Well, we did. Only John thinks we should spend a bit of quality time together. But if it's too difficult, it's no problem. John's right. It's an excellent idea. Well, what about the bar? Won't you be short-staffed? I sometimes think if we just put an honesty box on the bar, the place would run itself. An honesty box? In this place? You're right. Go on holiday, you deserve it. You're sure? Between Bob Marlon and Maisie, what could possibly go wrong? Did those words really just come out of my mouth? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Diane. I really appreciate it. You make sure you come back to your hair. I think I should be saying that to you, shouldn't I? Oh, Moira. Hmm? You right? Yeah. Listen, what's this I hear about you going away after all? Yeah, John's had a change of heart. How come? Official line, I deserve it. Unofficial line, he wants to keep tabs on Holly. Oh, what are you taking her with you? Yeah, but we haven't exactly told her that yet. She should count herself lucky. At least she's not getting left behind with him. Oh, he's harmless, isn't he? <laughs> he was, till he smelled power. <laughs> that. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. So, um, how did it go? Did you have a word? About what? Um, your dad's had second thoughts about the holiday. What, are you going now? I spoke to Diane earlier. And? And lucky for you, she said yes. Yay, what did I tell you? I'll have to dig out that old leopard skin thumb from here and cover it, won't I? Nice mental picture. Anyway, about us going away. Don't worry. I know it's a big deal you're leaving me, but I promise we will let you down. And if you're that worried, just call me every morning. Not too early, though. I don't think we'll have to. Not if you're sure. He means we want you to come with us. What? Our treat. Yeah, think of it as some bonding time together. Hold on. You mean just me and you two? Lucky you, eh? <laughs> 